Hi guys, it's Rizzo, and today I wanted to walk you through the process of changing out your transmitter. First things first, when you get uh, Dexcom for the first time, it's kind of confusing with sensors, transmitter, applicator, all these pieces, and trying to remember what's what. So I'll just start with the basics. So this is your applicator, and this typically will have the sensor attached to the bottom of it that you attach, of course, to your body. Once that's attached, then you will have a transmitter that goes in on top of the sensor that snaps into it. So the sensor lasts for 10 days. Your transmitter, don't throw it away because it lasts for 90 days. It lasts for three months. Okay, so you've been wearing your sensor, the Dexacom, and the same transmitter for almost three months. What'll happen is your phone will start giving you little warnings. For instance, it'll say, I think my very first one was at the three week mark, and it'll say your transmitter battery is getting low, it only has three weeks left to please call and order one if you don't have one, that kind of thing. And then you'll get that same warning at the two week mark. and then you'll get it for your last sensor session, so the last 10 days. And then that's it. I mean, that's pretty much all you get for pre-warnings that your transmitter is going to need to be changed soon. Then when it actually happens, so you have your last sensor on for the last day, the 10th day, and your sensor expires, it'll do what it usually does and it'll give you session, sensor session expired. And then it'll ask you if you want to remove your sensor. Um, at that point, I just hit next because I didn't want to deal with the old sensor and transmitter. I wanted to get the new ones on and then I would worry about removing all of that later. So I left the old ones on, but hit next um, on the actual app. So then what it'll do, of course, just like usual, is it will ask you to put in your new sensor code number that you can scan, um, which is on the bottom, you know, the little sticky tape that comes, it's always right here. Um, you can either scan it with your phone or you can physically put in that code. Now you're always going to want to do that. Otherwise, if you say it doesn't have a code or skip code, that's where it's gonna ask you to calibrate and you'll have to do that um, periodically. But if you actually scan it or put in the code, you won't have to do any calibrations. All right, so once you do that, you put in your new sensor code, then it's going to say uh, transmitter session expired, and then it has below that, I have a new transmitter, and you just click on that if you have a new transmitter. And then what it'll do is the same thing is it's going to ask for you to either scan the code that's on the side of your box for your new transmitter, or you can manually type in the code that's on the bottom um, of your transmitter. Once you do that, then it'll ask your device if it wants to pair with the new transmitter. So of course you're just gonna hit yes. And at that point, it does a normal two hour boot up. Like it looks the exact same as what it does when you normally change your sensors out and you wait for that two hour boot up.
And then after the two hours, hey, we have a magic blood sugar number. <laughs> So that's it. It is that simple and easy. Um, there's nothing to really be nervous about. It will walk you through the steps. But if you guys have any questions or need some help, definitely know you can always call Dexcom, but you can also send me a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you want to support my channel so that way you can always see what's coming up next. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.